Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to restore your files back to their original location from the OneDrive location. So if you're a OneDrive user, you probably noticed that uh, Microsoft OneDrive moves them into your OneDrive folder on your computer instead of your default locations. So we did a video on this a little while ago, but Microsoft has changed the interface, so we figured we'd do a little update video. And I'll put a link to the original in case you want to check that out as well. Okay, so we have this computer here. It's backing up documents to OneDrive. So you can see we have the OneDrive icon. And if I click here, I have the documents in there. And if I go down to my original folders here out of the OneDrive section, click on documents, it's still pointing to OneDrive. And if I right click on it, go to properties, go to the location tab, you'll see that is pointing to OneDrive. So if I wanted to move them out of OneDrive, and back into my other folder, I could obviously do that. Let me show you the other folder here real quick. If we go to the C drive, users, username, documents, you could see it's empty. Of course, you could go over to your OneDrive and then drag and move them into your original folder, but that's not gonna solve the problem of where the location of the documents folder is pointing to because it'll still be pointing to OneDrive. So let's say we wanted to change that. So let's say we wanted to move and we go down to that same original folder here on the C drive under users, username, documents, select folder. So now we want to move it out of OneDrive just into documents on the, under the username. So we click on apply. It says, do you want to move your files from the old location, which is OneDrive to the new location, which is the default folder? Say yes. It says can't move the folder because there's a folder in the same location that can't be redirected. Access is denied. Okay, so to get around this, we're going to go to our OneDrive settings here. Then under the backup section here, click on manage backup. And then turn off the backup for whatever folders you want, probably all of them most likely. Stop backup. Okay, close this out here. Okay, so now that we have the backup stopped, you'll notice that we still have our documents in the OneDrive folder here and nothing in the default folder here. So what we're going to do is go to the OneDrive location here, Control A to select all. And then we'll do a control X to cut. And then we'll go to the original location here. Paste them in there. I'll just skip this one here. And now we have everything there. So now you might get this message from OneDrive saying you deleted the files from OneDrive no longer accessible across your devices. That's because we moved it out of the OneDrive folder and into the default folder. which is fine. This is, of course, if you're not planning to use OneDrive, because if you still want to use OneDrive for your backup, there's no point in doing this all together because it's going to put them back here. And then you might get a file that doesn't want to copy for some reason. You could try it again here. Looks like this is just some link to something. Yeah, so we'll leave that alone. Okay, so now we'll go back into OneDrive here. Go to the settings. So if you want to remove your account, so if you don't plan on using it, uh, you could come and unlink the computer. So most likely, if you want to change your folders back to the defaults, you probably don't want to use OneDrive for backing up, at least using the client. You could still use the website, obviously, and you know move files back and forth that way instead of going through the client and the OneDrive folder on your computer. So we're going to unlink this PC here. So it's going to stop syncing. Local available files will remain on this device. Okay, so now the OneDrive icon's gone up here. We have our documents. Go to the properties in the correct space, and everything's back to normal. All right, so to summarize, just open your client here. I can't do it because I'm not connected anymore. Go to the settings, stop the backup, uh, move your files back to the original location. Then you could go back and unlink your account if you don't want to 
uh, be a OneDrive user anymore, at least, you know, using the client. And like I said, you could always go to the OneDrive website, upload and download files that way, and not have to worry about the sync process uh, messing up your default locations. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.